guys, Mike Pounder here. It is Tuesday, May 4th. I've been MIA with uh, the videos because I have guys plastering and compounding the apartment. So um, it's pretty it's pretty hard for me to be on, on, on at the same time. Uh, real quick update before I head out again. So a lot of people have this impression that I'm bearish. I'm not bearish, guys. I want to make it very clear to you guys that there's... Um, there's there's micros there's mid time frame and there's macros and i want you guys to see the bigger picture the bigger picture perspective the macro perspective we need to go higher we need to go to a hundred thousand dollars right so that's the overall path that by the end of the year we will go to a hundred thousand dollars ltc will go to a thousand dollars eth will go to 5k obviously we were targeting three thousand originally and hit that target now we're targeting five thousand dollars after the five thousand dollar target eth should go to seventy five hundred bucks so overall as we're talking about the, these these macro targets um, there's there's uh, there's short term resistance and short term rejections that need to take, be taken into consideration. BTC currently right now, where we are today this minute, is not looking too hot with the micros. But from the mid time frame perspective, let's assume the four hour to the twelve hour, we still have a potential move up to the top side. I'll explain it to you guys in a second what I'm talking about. So we have a right here. We have this down this this downward channel that <clears throat> uh, I still think is valid until it's not right. Um, so by, by the way, guys, I I've eaten so much dust. Just excuse my uh, my sinuses. So um, one second, I gotta see what FTX is doing right now. Okay, cool. So we bounced off this this mitigation block over here, which was uh, I think yesterday and whatnot, and we we're supposed to make another move up to the top side. Uh, to let's just say contest this high uh, given the fact that we won't do that today if we do not do that move today then we have additional downside that needs to play out and that will be somewhere around between the 52 to 51 thousand dollar range down here and the reason why i'm stating that this channel is still valid until it's not is not because i'm bearish or because i'm expecting a lower low because i still am expecting at least a 79 to get hit let me put it on the chart for you guys Sixty-one thousand dollars. I'll even put the seventy-five, so you guys can see what the seventy-five is, right here. Um, it's it's just the, the fact that the oscillators don't have the momentum that they needed or need to go up right now. We got to reset the oscillators. So uh, something along the lines of if this if this if this holds, right? If this 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 wick holds, something along the lines of this, and then that will be your your lower high potential. Uh, into a a higher low or to the bears a lower low i'm betting on this being the the higher low when it comes right so this whole channel here does not make me bearish guys it's just i am protecting myself from any downside potential i am roughly about 55 percent in usdt um and i am slowly slowly going to start entering the market as soon as this 12 hour gives me a retest which i'll go over what I'm looking for on the 12 hour in like five seconds. Just, just let me go over the macros real quick. Um, so this little red box over here, which I have labeled is a 10 hour order block. H10, H10 OB. Let me get to the right side. Now, what is a 10 hour order block guys? Go to your 10 hour, you see this white candle over here? This white candle over here was resistance, resistance, broke above, came back, and now we're at support. So this 5, this 0 0.5, which is 55.7, it's giving us a support for the time being. As long as we stay above this, we are absolutely fine. I have nothing to worry about. Throw on your VWAPs real quick, guys. I was talking yesterday to people in the Discord and told them, look where we bounced off of. Look, look at where we bounced off of. We bounced exactly off of the previous... <laughs> look right there boom and we have one more area down here that needs to be taken care of at forty nine thousand dollars and then another one over here at fifty three thousand dollars but these are daily 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 this was a weekly so this was really significant to get a bounce off of so we tapped it we filled it we went up and now we're, we're making some kind of like bear flag bullshit here that could potentially just knock us down and do something along the lines of this right um, and whatnot but anyway this is this isn't an area where you just say hey i'm gonna long and walk away be cautious here guys because the oscillators still need a little bit of time to reset um going back let me get rid of the, uh, the vwaps going back to the four hour all these levels up here in my in my eyes need to get tapped we also have a weekly a weekly where's the weekly guys real quick uh 
Guys, I haven't had coffee. I'm fucking drunk right now, unfortunately. Here you go. That's the weekly. I'm congested. Previous weekly view app. I'm tired because I haven't slept and no coffee. Okay, so. Close this. So these levels in my eyes need to get tapped, bro. Like, I can't be bearish until this gets tapped. That this there's way too much, there's way too much emptiness and void over here. This was such a manipulated dump, right? That there's so much shit that needs to get taken out over here. So until we get back up there, I'm I'm in the I'm in the buy the dip mode. Uh, to, to me, it doesn't make sense for us to just like do this and die, but le leaving all this up here. Um, so if you were to go down. You want to take the mitigation block, which was originally your deviation that led to the expansion to the top side, right? This is it right here. And you want to assume that when we do happen to come back and retest this, you're taking out this low, and then you're longing this, and then your target would be up here. Anywhere you want in this box. And if you want to be a little bit more precise, take out your fib extensions, go from here, grab the original high, and then grab your your let's just quote unquote call it the higher low even though this is not a higher low higher low should have been a lot lower and then you want to say that your first target is 59.7 which we have yet to tap so i am currently from a short-term perspective guys i know that there was a confusion yesterday in the discord between my bias being long-term and short-term my short-term bias is that we need to hit that 59.7 before i could assume that we have a potential uh uh breakdown in play I cannot, I just can't see this happening. I personally cannot see this happening. Who's texting me? I'm sorry, guys. What is that? No, I don't know who that is. I can't see this happening, man. More likely that we do something along the lines of uh, of this. Take out all this shit. Retest the breakdown. And then put in a higher low. That is more likely than to fucking tell me, yo, dude, we're going down here. From here. All right? Anyway. I'm giving you guys a benefit of the doubt. If we do happen to break down from here and roll over, I'm longing the $51,000 range because this is your deviation, guys. We should not break on. We, we, we should not get back into this deviation right here. This is your deviation. I'm going to make this gray. We do not want to be back in this little box. So anywhere in the green zone for me is a long opportunity. And my target's going to be 59 point seven all the way up to where is my my seven nine let's put on some fib levels on this bad boy over here okay right there so anywhere between the seven eight six which is fifty nine point five and then the sixty one thousand dollar range which is the point seven nine these two work hand on hand that's why they're blue for me so it's either going to be we're going to hit this or we're going to hit this one of these two um, after we come and retest this $51,000 range. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave this up for us. This is going to be the setup. I want to talk about the Monday range. Where's Monday? Here we go. So don't forget, guys, we're still sitting on this daily order block, man. Right? This is the, this is a daily order block. You're not going to break it with ease. Now, if you do happen to go sweep this, keep this in mind. If you do happen to go sweep this order block at the bottom, I know that a lot of people think it's bullish. To me, that's not really good. That means that we're going to definitely go lower afterwards. You might you might do something along the lines of, hey, this, go back up, retest this breakdown, and then go back down this way. So sweeping is really good if you are in an uptrend, but we're not we're not in a fucking uptrend, guys. We made a we made a low and then we made a lower low. So when you sweep something. That's not good, man. That means that you're going up for a uh, bearish retest into further downside. Or you might even do something along the lines of this, and then you go back up here, and then you go back down. But otherwise, yeah, you sweep this, it's going to it's gonna look like you, you're going to end up having to go a little lower afterwards. All right, just keep this in mind that, that we are on a daily order block. Now, this is the Monday range, which I want to... Uh, uh, let's go close all this, open up high-low real quick. Okay, go to your lower time frame. All right, so the lower time frame, as you could tell, last night I told everybody if we do happen to get back in Monday range, um, it's gonna be really good for us bulls. Uh, if we do happen to retest it and we fail, which we did retest it today in the morning, right there, boom, we retested it today in the morning, and we failed, and we got rejected. We're back over here. This is bearish to me. This type of behavior is bearish to me, guys. Um, it's not something that.
You know what? I have to delete all these guys. But then again, I don't want to miss this. Hold on, man. Let me just rename this. Um, I'll make a copy. Uh, make this um, order blocks. That's where we have order blocks. And let's delete everything and just keep Monday. Okay. So this is Monday range. This way it's a lot easier for you guys, man. All right, here we go. Guys, I'm sorry about my sinuses. I know that I'm driving you guys crazy, but please bear with me. Um, okay, so bear flag, <coughs> potential bear flag in play right now, right? Potential bear flag in play right now. Let's make this green. I mean, let's make this pink. Potential bear flag in play that's about to break down. Also, we're doing it at a Monday low. Blue is Monday low. Orange is weekly open. And then the top of the blue is Monday high. We didn't even we didn't even take these highs. So this is such an obvious long to me. Um, if we do happen to break down from here, you want to grab your fib level from here. See why I went long last night? <coughs> so I'm long from here. <coughs> I took already. I had 50% uh, profits taken at the Monday. I, I didn't even wait for the weekly open. I hit the. I got out at the Monday low. Um, anyway. So this area over here, if we were to make a small little leg down to basically take out this low, let's make this dashed, there we go. So if we were to do something along the lines of this and then get back into Monday range, that's your long, you know, you want to target the Monday high. Uh, and, uh, until then, I mean, until then, if you're looking at the micros, you have to wait, man. You have to wait. You know, you have to wait. All, all the signs are pointing that. All the signs are pointing that we're gonna go for another down, another leg down. Um, unless New York pumps us, right? So this doesn't look too good for us at all. Um, and especially because you have a lot of. I think there's a VWAP to the bottom side. Hold on, previous day VWAP. We hit the weekly. Uh, yeah, right here. Look at this down here, guys. Look at this gap. This is a big gap right here. Right? This is a big gap. Right here. I'm going to save this. This is a big gap, unfortunately. Let me put that. Let me put on the TMA band. Just so we have it. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah, this is the big gap down here. Or roughly about at 53.8. Ideally, if you do happen to get the move down to go sweep these lows, that'd be a beautiful long opportunity to the top side. This is also a previous deviation that took place right here, right here, right there, right? So this is your whole deviation to the downside. Um, so I wouldn't be so quick to long here, guys. I mean, yeah, longing is the right approach because we still are in the, by the dip mode, especially because Ethereum is making massive moves to the top side. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't be so quick to long this yet. Um, the safer the, the safer long will be to reclaim Monday low, as you can tell. Monday low is uh, the blue the blue line. Where is this? Okay, so uh, Monday low is the blue line over here. Hopefully that you guys can see it. It's fifty six point fifty six point four. Uh, the minute you get back in there, I, you have my blessing, man. Like, you have, what's my long right here? This is my long. You have my blessing. The minute you get back into this this range, and then you want to put your stop loss at the at the closest wick that, that, that led to the break the break back into the Monday range, your first target will be a previous breakdown. This is your previous breakdown over here, which is also a um, uh, empty vo volume gap over here. And then your second target will be straight to the top because these, these highs... The, these highs need to get taken, man. Like, there's no way they're going to leave these. I'm telling you guys, we're going back up. We're going back up. Whether we go down first and then up, right? We're going back up. You're not leaving this and, and going to make a lower low. That's going to be crazy if we do that. Uh, I'll be, I'll be, yeah, I'm going to be shocked if we go make a lower low, leaving these highs like the way they are. Um, so that's what I'm playing with Monday range, guys. Especially because uh, there's one more thing I want to add to this list. Let's go over weekly, I mean, monthly open. Where's the monthly open? Yeah, monthly open is right here. This is this is current monthly open. This is uh, May. This is April. We see how we tapped April and then we just died. This was April up here. This is April. We tapped it and we died. Yeah. So we consolidated around May's open. If we go back and retest it and roll over, then you have every reason to assume that we're gonna go lower. But until we go retest this 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 box over here, I think that we need to go up before down. All right. So I'm gonna keep this on the on the chart for us for Monday. 
and then let's go over <coughs> um, I already went over the right here TMA Aussies real quick so 12 hour first off let's see where our three day is currently right now our three day TMA has officially moved up and we are sitting beautifully at forty six thousand dollars I'm telling you guys the longer BTC takes to die the further up this three day gets if we get if we get this three day to come all the way up here and sit at forty nine fifty thousand dollars I could assume the floor is in because we're not going to break it you want you might break it with a wig but you're not going to break it with a candle pose unless you're bearish guys and we obviously know we're not bearish right oh, excuse me sorry guys no coffee uh, so 12 hour TMA um, We're in, we're, oof. we are, we basically broke the 12 hour TMA, unfortunately, the mid. So there is a potential, there is a potential, potential move to the downside if we can't close back above this in the next 12 hour candle. Uh, four hour, we're kind of hugging it at the moment, and it is red, right? See, it's a red. It's not really ideal. You want to be green. Um, Two day, fifty two point seven. Still supposed to be support for us. Is three day green by any chance? And three days green, which is still fine. Daily. Oh, daily's not good at all. Daily's red, and we just broke back under it again. That's really not good, guys. Yeah, be careful. All right. Well, I can't give you much information of the of the, the TMA all I'm telling you is that we're not bearish until we start breaking under the four hour right so we still got this uh, buy zone it's gonna be very hard to break the four hour green zone very hard very very usually when you put in a bottom you put on the bottom here, you get your, oof, just look, <laughs> look, at, look at the difference, February 27th, and the retest happened almost a month later, you get at least one bounce off the green zone, right? You put in a bottom, you get one bounce off the green zone, look at the difference right here, 25th to the, oof, damn, 15 days later. So we got the bottom, we're going to get at least one bounce over here before either a higher high or before a lower low I, I think that this is gonna repeat itself right I think it's gonna repeat itself so something along the lines of uh, bottom retest bottom retest bottom retest and the old lead to at least either a bearish retest to the top side or the lead to a higher high and I think that this 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 move to the top side is going to give us the move that we need to retest this whole this whole zone up here. Um, so that's what I'm banking on. I'm not I'm not assuming that we're going to die until I see that that retest there. <clears throat> Let me see something, guys. I'm sorry. I'm also trading another another side of the screen. Uh, I'm dying over here. All right. I'm going to save this as a TMA. And I want to also talk to you guys about the price action real quick. <clears throat> Order blocks. Um, I spoke to you guys about this, right? Just keep this in mind. That the 7.9 and the 7.86 is my targets if we do happen to get a bounce off the 51,000 miles. You know what, though? I'm not going to even make this video long. This is still something that I've been, that I've been working with. Um, I'm exiting the market in this box so every pump we get I'm just uh, selling off more and more and more until I'm like 80% USDT and it's not because I'm bearish guys because I'm protecting my capital and I would and I will re-enter the market as soon as this 12 hour gives me my retest this 12 hour still needs to give me the retest down and then up right this is where I'm gonna get back into the market right until we get that <clears throat> I'm protecting myself um, so 
XRP. Oof, this looks bad. This looks like it's gonna roll over, guys. This looks really bad. This looks disgusting. Yeah. I'm not gonna make the video long. Actually, I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna update you guys tomorrow with a detailed video because if I make the vi video, if I blab on today with the oscillators looking the way they look, I won't be much help. Let the oscillators reset for us. At least give me a one hour reset, right? See, I have this trend line still needs to, no, we need a lot of time. Let this one hour reset, guys. And then I'll get on the, on the mic tomorrow and tell you what I think. Because until this one hour resets, man, this is all noise, bro. <clears throat> right? Look, the thirty hour, the thirty minutes still has to do this. Uh, there's, there's, there's just too much noise going on right now, unfortunately, for us to assume that. Um, yeah, this thing has to still go up, cross down. This has to go up, go up. There's so much that needs to take place before I could say, "All right, we're going further up." <clears throat> Micro wise, guys. <clears throat> no, we need to we need to reset these guys. You know, we need to reset these guys daily. Daily is about to get either rejected or kissed over here. If this rejects, it's coming down here, right? Um, 12 hours, 12 hours, yeah, 12 hours. See how we got we got the cross? First bounce, second bounce. Now we're going to do this. I'll be your third one. I'll be your ex. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to make the video too long. <clears throat> I'm going <clears> to <throat> just give you guys an idea of what I'm expecting. Um, once we reset the lower time frames, guys. Hear me out before I conclude this video. Once you reset the lower time frame, once you reset this, the trend line gets reset, and the one hour, the, the gray line gets above everything, you have the, the signal line curling back up, your one hour is reset. When that happens, when that happens, I'll make a nice video talking about um, where BTC is gonna go. Uh, Cause right now for me to tell you, it's just fucking noise, dude. It's, it's a waste of time. Waste of time for me, it's a waste of time for you, right? Cause this thing could just flip at any given time. So just trade careful. I am expecting further upside, but any move down to 51K for me is an absolute buy. Uh, I do think that we need to see, oh wow, what an SFP this was. Jesus Christ. I do think that we need to see at least 59 to $61,000. Oof, it's pretty bad. That's a pretty bad candle. Let me see a four hour. Interesting. Um, otherwise, guys, Ethereum is a Chad, and I think that we are in the midst of seeing a five thousand dollar ethereum in the upcoming months man so um i'll go over some some alts tomorrow as well when i make the detailed video guys cheers trade safe please and don't forget all the updates that i do are are in discord on luca thoughts um and please do not get confused with my bear bull perspective i am still a hundred percent with this bias over here where is it where is it what did i do with it no is it this no i think it was here Wait, what did I do with it? Did I just mess it up? Here we go. I'm still sticking to this bias. There's not nothing has changed, and it's not because I'm bearish or bullish. I'm protecting my capital. I have a lot of money invested into this space. Enough, enough to make me uh, uneasy if we do happen to get another fucking twenty percent dump. I don't want to feel uneasy, so I'm just protecting my capital. And given the fact that we did hit the golden pocket, it's enough for me to assume that any kind of downside, any kind of upside is limited, and we're gonna end up uh, further completing this downside, this downside channel only because we need to put in a proper higher low before making another move up. If we go up from here, even better. But if we don't and we go down before up, I want to be prepared to buy this. I will buy this hard because don't forget, guys, I'm over. I have over fifty percent allocated right now to USD, so I'm going to have a lot of ammo to rebuy. So the move from here. To the top side will be a bare minimum 20 30 percent move on all the altcoins so think about it that way so if you have like two hundred thousand dollars free and you buy a bunch of altcoins when btc goes down here you're gonna make 20 30 percent on that you know how you know you know how beautiful that is to make like 50 60 thousand dollars in a matter of a week um that, that's the way i'm playing going forward i'm not playing the investors rod anymore until until i see macro weekly resets this to me is worrisome this to me is fucking worrisome this to me is worrisome right this is fucking worrisome guys so on uh, th this i'm not saying this is this could happen but this is worrisome until i see a weekly cross to the top side i am protecting my capital i am exiting the markets and i'm only doing setups going forward for example i'm heavy in link 
I'm heavy in algo. I'll go over the details as to why I chose those tomorrow. Um, and, uh, and break down the difference between my investment bag and my trade setup bag. Like I bought Link, for example, for a potential move, swing move to $100, right? Or like 80 something dollars. And the reason why I did that is because it hasn't ran yet. Right, has not ran yet. It's been just like uh, annoying everybody, including myself, because I've been holding it. I've been holding it for, I've been holding it since sub eleven dollars, and it still hasn't ran. Look at this. It's it's just it's sitting here consolidating, consolidating, driving us crazy. Hold on a second. The big wick took place over. Yeah, this was it. This was the big wick that I got into. Right. Look at this, and it has yet to run. Like really, really expand. Anyway, I'll go over everything tomorrow, guys. Trade safe. DM me if you need anything. But all the updates are going to be in Luca Thoughts and Discord. Right here, guys. I'm sorry. Let me show you guys right here. Luca Thoughts. Um, I'm putting everything in here. And if you guys want the signals, they're going to obviously be here. All right? Um, cheers. Trade safe, man.